This is Piranha by Exodus off the Bonded by Blood record. Okay, it's going to be standard tune, and you're going to start out on that 6th string 3rd fret, palm muted. Okay, gallop to the 4th fret. Okay, and then back to the 3rd fret. Okay, then it's going to be a 6th string 3rd fret, palm muted. 5th string, 4th to 5th fret, hammer on. Okay, right after that. Okay, then it's going to have a tail end of a 6th string, 3rd fret, um, one time. Okay, then a 1, 2. Okay, immediately to the 6th string, uh, fourth fret power chord or like a G sharp okay then an open with that same pattern okay to the F okay together they sound like this Okay, now that verse riff is going to be 5th and 4th string, 3rd fret. Okay, and kind of bar, bar down that 6th string along with it, because you're going to immediately go to the 6th string, 3rd fret, 1-2, uh, to the G, okay? Make sure you throw in that 5th and 4th string, 3rd fret, to the G, okay? G twice, open, a 1-2-3-4 on the 6th string, 3rd fret, to the G, open again, a 1-2 on that 6th string, 3rd fret, and back into it. Okay, now that tail is going to be just like that. Okay. Okay, but you're going to throw in a fifth string, third fret vibrato. Okay, same string, second fret. Sixth string, fourth fret. And back into it, okay? All right. Now that chorus is going to be just like the uh, previous riffs, but it's it's going to be the tails kind of put together, which is going to be that that I just showed you. Okay, that first that tail first riff. Okay, then it's going to be the tail of that, um, except it's going to be a gallop right after that. Uh, six string third fret down gallop. Okay, to that 5th string, 3rd fret vibrato, 5th string, 2nd fret, 6th string, 4th fret that I just showed you, okay? Okay, instead of going back to that F, it's going to go to the C, okay, right there. So together they sound like this. Alright, now moving on to under the solo, which is an E5. Okay, and just gallop right after that, the six string palm muted. Okay, just fill it in with gallops. To the D, uh, E5 to D. Okay, fill it in with six string palm mutes. It's going to be C, D, back into it. Okay, then it's going to be E5 to D. Let that um, D ring. Okay, then it's going to be 4th string, 5th fret to 4th 
fourth fret on that same string. I'm kind of vibrato that uh, fourth string, fifth fret. Okay. Fifth string, fifth fret. Okay. To uh, fifth string, third fret. Okay. Now this fifth string, third fret is going to bleed into the big back to the beginning of the first bar. Okay. Okay, normal speed. Okay. Now moving on to the sixth string, seventh fret. Okay. Power chord, sixth string, seventh fret power chord. Okay, go down to the sixth fret on that same string power chord and just fill it in with gallops okay okay now immediately after that it's going to be 6th string 7th fret 5th string 6th fret okay do that same pattern except you're going to immediately go back into it. And just do it two times. Okay, I believe it's two guitars. One guitar goes and the other one goes but you can bleed it together and it and it sounds just as good. Okay? Now onto that breakdown which is 6th string 6th fret power chord. Okay, and then you're going to fill it in with eighth notes, which is uh, the sixth string open. Like a one, two, three, four, and then a full bar, okay? Okay, and then immediately after that, is going to be 6th string 7th fret. Okay? Now you're going to palm do that same uh, fill in 8th notes, but you're going to do it on the 6th string 7th fret palm muted, okay? Like a 1 2 3 4 and then a full bar. Okay, now it's going to have a tail of a which is 4th string, 5th fret, okay? Kind of vibrato it a little bit. That same string, 4th fret, 5th string, 6th fret. Do it twice. Okay, then you're going to go up to the 4th string, 8th fret. Vibrato that. Same string, 7th fret, 5th string, 9th fret. Do that once. Okay, then you're going to slide up to the 10th fret on that 4th string, to the 9th fret on that 4th string, okay? Okay, good luck with it.